der Piloten Englisch test. Whatever the language, talking and listening are a natural part of most people's daily life. But when it comes to communication between transnational project partners or devising a publicity plan to tell the world about your project, what was easy before can suddenly become a challenge. Klaus Sorensen is Director General of Communication at the European Once Commission. From day one, actually from the moment you conceive your project or your idea, you think also who is it I have to talk to, who would be interested in engaging with me, how do I present this. The moment you do that, you will see that all the next steps will follow more easily. Communication is not an add-on, it's not a, a, um, a kind of optional extra. The communication needs to be part of a program throughout the process, throughout the life of the program. Christian Leffler also believes it's time the internal and external communication strategies of the EU and its projects are brought up to date. The age of glossy brochures is coming to a close. Um, it's coming to a close because it's a very passive way of communicating. Uh, it's rather expensive and reaches a limited audience. It's not very environmentally friendly, if we look at that aspect as well. Um, we need to find new ways and, above all, interactive ways of communicating. It's hard to believe that email as a form of mass communication is less than 20 years old, or to remember that TV, radio and newspapers were the only sources of news until search engines and citizen journalism took off. The means of communication, the platforms, are evolving at breakneck speed, and an effective communication strategy needs to consider these newer, less traditional outlets. It's quite clear that new media and social media and the internet, the web, is the future. No one knows exactly what it will look like in five years, ten years, or even three years from now. But that it will be web-based, I think we can say for sure. So you need to be thinking about that when you're developing the plan and the subsequent measures. And it's clear that the plan needs to be built into the project from day one. The advice to project leaders from all levels is that leaving a communication strategy until the need arises is almost certainly a recipe for disaster. People understand by themselves more and more that they will get no traction for their projects. They will run into difficulties if they are not able to accompany each step of any project with the appropriate explanations, listening procedures, material to sort of tell all the stakeholders what the heck are we about to do. When it comes to communicating with broadcast media and the press, Søren Hermesen is in a good position to offer some advice. He's director of the Energy Academy on the island of Samsø, off the coast of Jutland in Denmark. Samsø hit the world's headlines when it became the first island in Europe to be entirely self-sufficient in electricity, by building a series of onshore and offshore wind turbines which are owned collectively by the local community. It was a good news story, but how did they go about telling it? Our experience with publicity is that you need to have a good story that you kind of that you like yourself. You have to be involved in your story. You have to tell the truth about what you what you're doing, and that you have this desire to share that this with somebody. So this will kind of influence the way that you are talking about things, and also the way they're communicating with 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 the with the people from the press or the people from, from writing media, so whoever will be here. At the end of the day, the goal of all communications surely has to be to tell the world what you're trying to achieve and when you get the results, to tell them about what you've done, what you've really accomplished. And in doing that, you also need to look at how you talk to people you know, internally within the project or within the program or wherever you are, so that you speak from um, the same page in a way, that you're using the same language and this is, I think, even more important if you look at several countries or you know, regions trying to work together. If you're speaking about one thing in one country and a different thing in another country, obviously that's going to be very mixed up for anyone trying to look at the project and what you're doing. So there are many aspects to you know, effective communications. Whether the platform is broadcast television or a local newspaper, email, a website or microblogging, if the message is unambiguous and honest, it will adapt to any medium, any audience. 
The advice from the European Commission is clear. The quality of a communication strategy can make or break a project. The EU is often seen as something uh, almost theoretical, as something very remote, as disconnected from the daily lives and concerns of our citizens. Um, that's an image we need to break, that's an image we need to move away from. This Commission has become much more conscious that if you don't communicate, a terrible thing happens. A terrible thing happens, which is nothing.